assembled and grant that we treat and consider all matters that shall come under the liberation so just and faithful man as to promote your honor and glory and to advance the peace, prosperity and the welfare of our country and republic and of those whose interests have committed to our charge. Amen. Thank you. That's the composition. Yes, clerk, is there a quorum? Yes, we have quorum, Mr. Speaker. Next order, please. Order number one, administration of oath. Next order. Order number two, communication from the chair. Next order. Order number three, messages. Next order. Order number four, petitions. Next order, please. Order number five, papers. Next order. Order number six, notices of motion. Next order. Order number seven, statements. Next order. Order number eight, special motion on adoption of the second report of the committee on appointments on the vetting of Mr. Felkin Kaingu Nena to the position of county executive committee member Public Service, Special Programs, and Disaster Management. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I would like to move uh, the motion on the adoption of the second report of the Committee on Appointments on Vetting of Mr. Felkin Kaimundena to the position of the County Executive Member, Public Service, Special Programs and Disaster Management. Mr. Speaker, in conducting the vetting exercise, the committee was guided by the provisions of the Public Appointments Act of 2017, pursuant to Section 8, 1A of the County Government Act uh, of 2012, Section 7 of the Public Appointments uh, on County Assembly Approval Act of 2017, and Standing Order 43 of the County Assembly of Kilifi uh, Standing Orders. The nominee was invited to appear before the Committee on Appointments for vetting at the County Assembly Committee Room Malindi on Thursday, 27th October 2022. The Committee did not receive any memoranda, petitions, representations on the suitability or otherwise of the nominee. The nominee proved beyond reasonable doubt that he was able and suitable for the job. The committee found the nominee suitable uh, for the position nominated for. Felkin Kaingundena has the requisite qualifications and experience which qualifies him to the position of the county executive member. And that the nominee demonstrated knowledge of the subject area, the mandate and responsibilities of the office of county executive committee member and also that the nominee articulated tropical issues on the department nominated for and uh, proved beyond reasonable doubt that he was able and suitable for the job. So, Mr. Speaker, I urge this House to adopt the report on this matter.
Thank you. Who is second you? Honorable Combo, who is seconding you? Uh, I ask uh, Honorable uh, Koki to second me on this matter. Honorable members, let me propose the motion that this house adopt the second report of the Committee on Appointments on the vetting of Mr. Felkin Kaingundana to the position of County Executive Mem Committee Member for Public Service, Special Programs and Disaster Management as laid on the table of this House on, on, the, on, on uh, Monday 31st, October 2022. Yes, members, those are ready to make comments about the same. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. First of all, I'd like to thank the mighty God for giving me this opportunity to come here this morning and deliberate some issues concerning our county assembly and Kilifi County as a whole. The motion before us all is about Mr. Felkin Kaingu, who was proposed as a nominee for the post of CC, Public Whatever Management of the um, Disaster Management. I want, to pro I want to support this motion in totality, putting into consideration that Mr. Felken Kaingu proved beyond a reasonable doubt before the appointment committee that he is capable of handling this docket. One, as for the information which was given to us by the appointment committee, he's a guy from Kalolaini, but after doing my own research, I came to realize that he resides in the area of Ganze constituency. And one of the constituencies which is badly affected by disasters, Ganze is one of them. Especially, if I can call the hunger that is striking Ganze currently, if I can call it a disaster, then it is one. Him being from that area, I strongly believe he feels the pinch of his people. He knows what his people are currently undergoing pertaining that kind of disaster. Him being the head of that department, I strongly believe he's going to perform his duties very well and people are going to get a very big help from him. So I support this motion. Thank you. As I'm waiting for a request, or I proceed to the mover to, re to respond if maybe the Honorable Harun Tate. Sorry, Mr. Uh, Mishima Speaker. Uh, Samani Mishima Speaker. Uh, kwa Ndugiangu Mishima Tete Kita Karilishi Hakiko. Jomana Nimetumia Kadiake Katika. Uh, mashini hii. Mshima speaker, nimesimama kuunga mkono uh, hii hoja ya kumchegua bwana Felkin Kaingu Ndena ili awe waziri katika hiyo uh, hiyo sekta. Mshima speaker, hivi sasa kila mmoja wetu tunaliangazia bala nja na tunajua wazi tukipata waziri wa kazi ambaye kwamba mwenye tajriba kama hizo anaweza kuliwakilisha vizuri Kilifi County. Naomba nyumba hii tuunge mkono kwa pamoja hoja hii. Asante sana. Honorable Harrison Taura. Asante uh, sana uh, mheshimiwa speaker kwa kuni uh, kunipa nafasi hii ya kutoa mchango wangu 
katika hoja ambayo ipo mbele yetu kwanza binafsi uh, bwana Fecklin uh, ni mtu ambaye nafahamu kwa sababu uh, anaishi katika wadi ambayo mimi nawakilisha kwa hiyo uh, ni mwananchi ambaye nimemfahamu vizuri na sina tashishwi na yeye hasa tukiangalia katika tajriba yake na masomo yake uh, kama mtu binafsi na ninachoamini ni kwamba bwana Fecklin Felkin ana uwezo wa kufanya kazi vizuri ila nimesimama uh, japo na unga mkono ila kwa sababu ni lazima tunyoshane mahali yeye ni ndugu yangu na sina tashishi kwamba kazi anaweza kuifanya vizuri ila kwa kitendo kidogo ambacho kilifanyika pale nyuma uh, kwa kulionekana kidogo kuna dharau katika kuidharau nyumba hii na atumwambie Fetlin peke yake tunazungumza hata wale mawaziri wengine ambao wamepewa nafasi kufanya kazi kwa niaba ama kufanyia kazi watu wakilifu kwanza hii nyumba inafaa kuheshimiwa na kupewa uh, heshima inayofaa tunampatia nafasi hii ndugu yetu Felkin uh, Kaingu lakini tunaambia hata wale mawaziri wengine sisi hatuko hapa kwa sababu yetu wenyewe tuko hapa kuwakilisha wananchi ambao umetuchagua kwa hiyo hatutaki kuona uh, chembe chembe za dharau kudharau mheshimiwa yoyote ambaye yako katika hii nyumba tunamuunga mkono ndugu yetu lakini hilo liwe onyo kwake na pia onyo kwa wale mawaziri wote na, uh, na watenda kazi wa serikali ambao wamechaguliwa ama wameajiriwa kufanyia kazi wananchi wa kilifu asante sana mheshimiwa speaker Thank you Mr. Speaker sir. I stand to support uh, this motion on a uh, appointment of uh, Mr. Fetlin Kaingo to the position of County Executive Committee member Public Service Special Programs and Disaster Management. I happened to be privileged to sit in the co uh, committee of appointment and uh, Mr. Kaingo uh, proved to have knowledge on uh, disaster disaster prevention preparedness and response we believe he is capable to lead this uh, department but we also ask him like when uh, waziri mutai was appoint, appointed as the cs of health it was during the covid we believe he is going to work day and night to make sure whatever Kilifi County is going through right now with the drought and hunger is a story of the past. We know at the moment we are having short-term solutions and uh, food is being distributed to areas where there is uh, a, uh, the drought and uh, a lot of hunger. But we want his department to come up with long solutions that we can prevent such disasters, such problems to happen in Kilifi. Enough is enough of msolo and distribution of food. We need long-term solutions. And we want to task him to work day and night and to make sure that that happens. So personally, I support his uh, nomination and I believe he is going to work and be able to deliver to the people of Kilifi. Thank you so much. Honorable Hassan. Hassan Tisana, Mwishima Speaker, kwa kuniputia hii nafasi. Mimi pia nimesimama kuunga mkono, mkono hii hoja ili okumbele etu, kuunga mkono ndugundema kwa uteuzi wake. Lakini, kuna malipa moja, Mwishima Speaker, pa menifuraisha kwa mba ndugu yangu mheshimiwa Taura kule kukiri kwamba huyu mtu ni ana, anatoka katika eneo lake na kwamba ni kama dhamana yake anayo yeye lakini pia ningelimuomba tu ndugu yangu kwamba azidi kumkanya hasa kinyumbani kule kwa sababu tunahitaji heshima asante wanabongirani Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I stand to support the motion of approving Mr. Franklin Kaingu. 
Uh, I know Mr. Franklin Kaingu personally. We have been together in different activities. And I believe he is able, Mr. Speaker. Not because he is from Ganze, as a sub-county Mr. Speaker, but from his academic qualifications, I believe, Mr. Speaker, from the strategic management course, he is able to handle the docket. Disaster, Mr. Speaker, is a calamity that we are all experiencing at the moment. And I believe, with the support of one of our, our honorable member, that he needs to act fast, especially in the areas, Mr. Speaker, that has really been affected by the disaster in this county. Mr. Speaker, we expect him, the moment he is sworn in, to be very serious and make sure that he has long-term solutions for this type of disaster that has been hitting this county in several locations. With that, Mr. Speaker, I support and I wish him well in his docket. Thank you. Yes, Asante Mr. Speaker kwa kunipea nafasi hii na pia nachukua nafasi hii kupatia Mwenyezi Mungu shukran kwa kunipatia uhai na uzima na kuona wenzangu ndani ya nyumba tukiwa sote tuko salama. Kwanza Mr. Speaker ninapenda kuchukua nafasi hii nikisomea kwamba Mr. Felkin ni mtu mwingine ambaye amesomeka kwamba ni jeuri. Japo nitaunga mkono lakini kisiki elelezo chema kwa uongozi. Nazungumza haya kwa sababu katika wote ambao wamepita There is an intervention please from Mr. Speaker, <coughs> um, this jury that I'm um, hearing maybe they should be substituted properly so that some of these members they are not even aware what is going on or what is being said about this member. Maybe from the appointment committee can tell us exactly if the what kind of ibumeter or georimeter they used, Mr. Speaker, to measure this uh, this uh, candidate. Maybe we can understand exactly what is going on. Thank but the, the member on the floor is not a member of the appointment committee. Where are you one? Asante. Napo zumza hivi, Mr. Speaker, kwanza tunaona wenza kewote mbao walikuwa wana maumbi ya kazi hii, walikuja kwa wakati wa sawa. Na stakabadi zake, si vitu ambavyo vilikuwa ni vitu vya kwenda kuomba vilikuwa ni vitu ambavyo anavijua mahali vilipo na angekuja navyo kwa wakati wa sawa lakini tetesi ya mafununu nasikia kwamba alisemekana ya kwamba amerudi nyuma kidogo kwenda kutayarisha papers zake hasa sielewi ilikuwa ni kudharau ile komiti yetu ama ndivyo alivyo asili yake sielewi lakini naomba hivi nyumba hii inaenda kumwidhinisha yeye kama mfanyikazi na sisi hapa wenye tuko hapa tumetumwa na wakazi wa maeneo yetu akiwa na utu utu ndio tunautaka ili jamii zetu zipone mahali ambapo tumetoka na hii kilifi yetu na janga la njaa imekuwa ni aibu kwa muda mrefu tumetajwa na mengi ndani ya Kenya hii kwamba tuko katika eneo ambalo halijiwezi na huyu bwana akiwa tunampatia nafasi hatumpatii tu kwa sababu anastaka baadhi ambazo zinamfanya yeye anahitimu kupewa nafasi tunataka utu wa utendaji kazi kwa hivyo ikiwa itafikia mahali adalilishe hii nyumba uh, kama mwanzangu taura mheshimiwa alivyosema ni onyo hatutabembeleza nafasi hiyo na tunapigania sana wananchi wetu wa kilifi wawe wakati huu wamepata kupona kupitia kwa utetezi wa nyumba hii na wafanyikazi ambao tunawaidhinisha sisi. So sisi tusiwe raba stamp wao. Yeye na wengine wao. Tunaipeana hii nafasi si ya mshahara, ni ya kuhudumia wananchi. Hilo niombi na lipirana kwa kiasikie na wengine wao na wale ambao ni majirani zao. Ikiwa watakuwa wanakutana mahali popote pale ambapo watakuwa wamefikana labda kwa mambo ya vileo na vingine vyao, waambiane ya kwamba hii nyumba ni nyingine tunataka ipewe heshima 
na mahali atakapokalia kiti kwa ajili ya kuhudumia wananchi wa kilifi ajue anawakilisha wakina nani asante honorable members allow me to call upon the mover to respond thank you mr speaker for giving me this opportunity to respond to the contributions of this motion uh, mr speaker i want to quote or uh, to yeah to quote from the members who have contributed concerning the motion that this county is faced with disaster a disaster thirst hunger and so like and the appointment of mr felkin kaingu to this position will give this government a part in the hand in handling the situation that is bedeviling the people of this county so i want to say thank you for the contributions Thank you. Members, allow me to put the question that this House adopt the second report of the Committee on Appointments on the voting of Mr. Felkin Kaingundana to the position of County Executive Committee Member for Public Service, Special Programs and Disaster Management as laid on the table of this House on Monday, 13th, October 2022. As many as th that opinion say aye. aye. As many as the contrary opinion say nay. The eyes have it. Yes, clerk, next order, please. Order number nine, special motion on adoption of the first report of the Committee on Selection on the nomination of members into select statutory and sectoral committees. Head of majority. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Honorable Speaker, I beg to move the motion that pursuant to the provision of Standing Order 163, this Honorable House approved the first report of the Committee on Selection on the nomination of member into the select statutory committee and sectorial committee laid on the table on this house on monday 31st october 2022 mr speaker honorable speaker the tax force to the nominate all the member of this honorable house serve in the committee was not an easy one it took a lot of consideration, consultation, research, and advice to enable the committee ensure that the interests and the welfare of the member are well taken care of. Honorable Speaker, I wish to refer member to the finding of this report, and I quote, one, that the membership of each committee reflect to relative majority of this seat held by each of the assembly party or coalition of the party in the county assembly and the interest of the independent were all considered. Two, that all the select, uh, select uh, statutory and sectoral committee have attained the two-third gender principle. Three, the majority of the member of the county public investment and county committee and the committee on implementation are drawn from party other than assembly party forming the county government. Four, that due to the current number of the member of the county assembly and, and the need to ensure that every member belonging to the three selected committee, there are few instances where two members of this house business committee shall serve in the same sectoral committee. The, the committee of this the committee of this assembly are con constituted to perform their duty on behalf of this assembly, not only behalf of your ward. I hope you will serve you will you will serve in your respective committee with 
uh, dedication, integrity, and decorum. I, ha I, I, hereby, I hereby call upon Honorable Thomas Mumbachengo, leader of minority, to second. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Chengo. Members, let me propose the question that pass on to the provisions of Standing Order 163 of this Honorable House approves the first report of the Committee on Selection on the nomination of members into select statutory and sectoral committees laid on the table of this House on Monday 31st, October 2022. Members, Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. And uh, as I believe, I also take this opportunity to thank the Almighty God for this opportunity to appear before this house on this very day. Mine, Mr. Speaker, uh, I want to first by also thanking your office for giving us this opportunity also to sit in that committee together with my colleague and other colleagues from here. Again, I want to also take the opportunity to appreciate the good work from the Secretariat that worked very closely with us. As you heard from the majority leader, it required a lot of research and consultations, and equally they were very well to the task. Mr. Speaker, I want to draw members into the attention that, uh, to the composition of this committee on selection first. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the committee comprises of the majority leader and the minority leader. That is the House leadership, plus uh, other members, including Honorable Kanto Namai, Martha Koki, Tatu Salim, Stalon Mkadi, Arason Taura, Elina Mapenzi Samini, and Honorable Juma Chengo. This is just to say, Mr. Speaker, this is not a work done by the majority and the minority. It's a work of the committee. That's why I had to drive members first to the committee membership so that they can appreciate that this is a committee that comprises uh, the, 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 the members that I've mentioned here. So, Mr. Speaker, the members were equally with us to the task. Again, Mr. Speaker, I want to refer members to Standing Order 161. That provides for the nomination of members to this committee so that they can appreciate the process in which we were engaging in to arrive to, that, to this report, Mr. Speaker. And uh, in that standing order, one, 161-1, in nominating members to serve in a committee, the Committee on Selection shall ensure that, A, the membership of each committee reflects the elective majorities of seats held by each of the assembly parties or coalition of parties in the county assembly. In the composition of all these committees, Mr. Speaker, you'll see that suborder A is well catered for. B, in two, no two members of the House Business Committee serve in the same sectoral committee. Mr. Speaker, I want to highlight on B because this one was not practically possible before that committee. In the sense that, you see, the same standing order stipulates that at least a member should sit in at least three sectoral committees. And the number of members in this house, honorable members, I want to, you to get this very clear. We are 51 of us here. And if everyone has to sit in three sectoral committees, Mr. Speaker, it means at some point members will be, 
will sit in one central committee from the House Business Committee. That's why now you'll find that in the, in, in, in the co composition of the committees, there are members who sit in the same sectoral committee. Then C, the majority of members of the Public Accounts Committee, Public Investments Committee and Committee on Implementation are drawn from parties other than assembly parties forming the county government. And this one is also well taken care of in the composition of this committee. Mr. Speaker, allow me again to remind members on the criteria on which we arrive into placement of members in these committees. This is also, Mr. Speaker, to let members appreciate the process. It's not an easy task, but we are guided by the standing orders and other guiding principles for us to arrive to these committees, Mr. Speaker. 162, Mr. Speaker, one, in nominating members to serve in a committee, the committee on selection shall ensure that the membership of each committee reflects the relative majorities of the seats held by each of the counter assembly parties, the counter assembly, despite paragraph one, Mr. Speaker, a member belonging to a party other than a counter assembly party or independent member may be nominated to serve in a committee and the allocation of membership of committees shall be nearly as proportional to the number of members belonging to such parties and independent members. You will appreciate, uh, Mr. Speaker, that we have the independent members in this house. And this time around, we are pleased to have four of them. And uh, in placing these committees, members in these committees, the, no, the independent members were also put into consideration. So, because of their number, Mr. Speaker, and the number of the committees that we have, you will find that there are certain committees you will never see the independent members because they cannot be in every committee based on their number. So I believe members, you realize that in the composition of those committees, there are some committees where we don't have independent members based on their number and that they cannot appear in every committee because again, it will not go as per the standing orders that should sit at least in three sectoral committees as opposed to the select committees whereby they don't have even a specific number. You can sit in all if you have the capacity. Three, Mr. Speaker, except as the county assembly may otherwise resolve. There's an intervention from an Rashid. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the member on the floor has given us, as quoted from the standing order 161. Standing order 161, subsection B. It is very clear here and very categorical that no, I quote, no two members of the House Business Committee serve in the same sectorial committee. In light of that, the members in the House of Business Committee, there are 13. There we have 13 members in the House of Business Committee. You will find that there are some areas in the sectoral committees where we have two and more than two. If I give an example, or if I come to, for example, in transport and public works, we have three members. Member number nine, Thomas Mumbo Chengo, Emmanuel Changawa Kombe, Grace Wambui Mwangi, and many others, and many other areas. So, unless it is put clear that there is another clause in the standing order which abrogate this, or there is a clause which put it very clear and allows us to have more than two members from House of the Business Committee to be in the same sectorial. But I find it that by doing this is contrary to the standing order 
because the first area he quoted, standing order 161, in nominating members or to serve in a committee, the committee on selection shall, there is a preposition shall, which they must ensure that, coming to subsection B, no two members of this House Business Committee serve in the same sectorial. Thank you. Honorable Chamber, please make clarity on the same. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I also appreciate uh, Honorable Rashid because by highlighting that, I was preparing his path on whatever has just raised. So thank you for being attentive and listening to whatever I was submitting into. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I think uh, in his submission, he did mention that we have 13 members in the HBC committee, that is House Business Committee. And if you follow very closely, Mr. Speaker, we have only 12 sectoral committees. While we have how many members in the HBC committee? That means mathematically, when you place every member in a single committee, all the committees will have an in excess of one. So, Mr. Speaker, it is not practically possible to have all HBC members not appearing in other sector committees in the number of two or three. And, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, as I was going through the standing orders, Mr. Speaker, those are the, some of the issues that we borrowed from our Elder brothers and sisters, the National Assembly practices. But you see, Honorable yeah. Chengo, uh, please take a seat. There are some uh, interventions which we need to have. Maybe they will give you more highlights on the same. Honorable Ngrani. Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Member, who is the, also the minority leader of this House, is telling us that uh, we have 12 committees, sectoral committees, and the House Business Committee, Mr. Speaker has 13 members. Mr. Speaker, as per my understanding, you are one of the members of the House Business Committee, Mr. Speaker, and you don't sit in these sectoral committees. Therefore, mathematically, minus you, we come to 12 members. It was a simple mathematics just to put every member of the House Business Committee in different sectoral committee. And this era of two members of House Business Committee to appear in sector committee could not have happened, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. <coughs> Honorable Shango. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I was on a point of wonder. Uh, maybe the leader of minority uh, is misleading the House. Eh? Uh, should he be telling us that we um, we make uh, amendments on our um, standing orders eh? where 161 tells us right what we should do. So if the numbers then cannot tell, it means we make amendments on our standing order. That is what he is trying to tell us. Can I to proceed, please? and clarifying the issues raised by members. Uh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, as I was putting it before this House, we have 13 members from the HBC committee, and we have 12 sectoral committees, Mr. Speaker. The standing order says that a member should at least sit in three sectoral committees. If you place one in every sectoral committee, Mr. Speaker, you realize that for that member to get a second sectoral committee, we'll have to sit in the same committee with a fellow member who is in the HBC committee. That is the only guiding principle that derived this report now that we're having members sitting in the same sectoral committee. Or unless members are telling us we avoid having more than two members by saying that all the HBC members should sit in only one sectoral committee, which will be very unfair, Mr. Speaker as we are guided, that we should be sitting in at least three sectoral committees. And by doing so, again, Mr. Speaker, we are rendering ourselves in a limbo, whereby some of the committees will even have less members, based on our numbers in this assembly. That's why now, in placing members, to make sure that these committees are well 
uh, are according to the provision of sending orders, you realize that there are committees which have even 13 members, and there are some committees which need to be, have the same number, but they cannot because of our numbers. That's what we realize. They have nine members. Because we are 51, we cannot even fit in that number. So, Mr. Speaker, that is the scenario we found ourselves in, and I will appreciate members if they follow the standing orders very clearly and also understand the practices and the practicality of placing members in these committees, they realize that the committee did its utmost best. Mr. Speaker, having said that, Mr. Speaker, I want to urge members. I know there has been a lot of anticipatory statements and uh, thoughts here and there about the functioning of these committees, Mr. Speaker. Members, let's appreciate that we are all here on behalf of our county and the country at large. And you sitting in that committee, as it has been said, is not under your own capacity, but you are there working on behalf of the assembly and by extension, the people that we represent in this house. So I'll appreciate that wherever you sit, you'll be working on behalf of this assembly because when a committee sits outside this presence, or within the presence, it's working by extension, it's the work of the assembly that has been delegated to that committee. So with that in mind, honorable members and Mr. Speaker, I think we shall have a very good working relationship in these committees and all we shall be geared into making sure we achieve the very best from this third assembly, Mr. Speaker. So I really urge members, we adopt this report and we, as we proceed on our short recess, I know there have been negotiations here and there and lobbying as well for those who wish to be chairs and vice chairs. You can give you ample time to do that. And eventually when we do the election of chairs and vice chairs next week, I expect this work of the committee to start rolling. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I believe we shall be pushing the work of this county ahead and we shall also be doing justice to ourselves and to the people that we represent. So I urge members that we adopt this report in totality. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, going by the report uh, of the select committee, I rise to support and uh, urge my fellow members that uh, we may not be satisfied, but again, it wasn't an easy task for the committee, and not all of us can be placed at our convenient place. We are here to serve Kirifi. We are not here to serve our interests. I urge all of us to support the report and take our responsibilities. But again, we also urge those who already have responsibilities to allow other members also to have responsibilities. So I rise to support the report. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for giving me the op uh, opportunity. I rise to support the motion. I was privileged to have sat in this committee, and to be honest, it was not an easy job. It took us two days to make sure that everybody is placed in committees, and I also want to appreciate my fellow honorable members for taking their time to sit for long hours to make sure that this job was completed within the two days that you have been given. I also want to congratulate the Secretariat for guiding us, helping us where we needed help. Mr. Speaker, sir, there is no committee which is better than the another. All committees work, and they work for the people of Kilifi and not individually. I want also to support and also to say that we need to move fast for those honorable members who are seeking positions, 
of our chairmanship and uh, vice chairmanship, we finish this exercise so that the committees can start working immediately. And as the deputy leader of majority or the majority in this house, we want to urge all the committees that we need to have proper oversight in our committees. And uh, we want to make sure that this house works differently from the previous two houses that were here. Let us work together. Let us make sure that we do our oversight. That's why we have these committees. And let us make sure that we put the executive on their toes, making sure that they implement what we pass here to the people of Kilifi. I also want to congratulate our able leader of majority. He has shown leadership in him because he's a leader. In fact, he, he only has two secretarial committees. He couldn't even get a third one. So let us appreciate the work of the select committee and move on with speed and making sure that their committees are put in order and we start working. I also want to ask you, Mr. Speaker, sir, and I believe that we will have time as committees to have trainings on uh, our responsibilities and what is expected of us. Maybe by doing that, honorable members will be at ease knowing that in every committee that they have been put is a committee that is supposed to work for this county. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Sir. Honorable Mr. Speaker, kuunga mkono kazi iliyofanywa na kamati kwanza nampongeza eh, majority leader minority leader kwa hikma na busara yao waheshimiwa kugawanya kufanya migao si kazi rahisi hasa mkiangalia sisi tuko hamsini na moja kwa hivyo namba kwanza yazezi kaenda sawa na ni jukumu moja zito kwa sababu tuko na interest tofauti kama waheshimiwa yule nataka hiki yule nataka kile sasa kuwekana sawa kwa kweli ni kazi nzito na kwa wale ambao wanalazimisha pengine labda sheria lazima ifanywe kuja lazimishwa nafasi bado ikilipo weza jitoa tu si shida sawa sawa m hmm? asante ana butaura samani kidu mheshimiwa speaker Make a request. Asante mheshimiwa speaker. Ah uh, ile ya, ya, ya kumalizia ni kwamba nimepata mfadhili kutoka Nathaland mheshimiwa speaker ambaye ana uwezo wa kubadilisha maji ya bahari yakawa maji baridi. Na kama mnavyojua mheshimiwa speaker kwamba a cubic meter za maji ambazo tunapata tu, tu katika hizi kampuni haijatosheleza in Kilifi County. Kwa hivyo kwa wale members wa maji naomba hiyo nafasi ya uchea. Asante sana. I think this is not the right time for that. Wana bitaura please. Uh, asante sana mheshimiwa speaker. Uh, na ndugu yangu uh, Hasan usiwe na shida mimi ni memba katika kamati hiyo na kura yangu nayo ndugu yangu Mheshimiwa speaker I think members let's check Ah mheshimiwa speaker uh, Naam speaker uh, mimi naomba kuipongeza kamati hii ambayo ilifanya kazi nzuri ikiwa mimi pia ni mmoja katika wale ambao wanaketi katika kamati hiyo ambayo inaongozwa na jemedari uh, kiongozi wa, wa walio wengi bungeni ambaye kwa muda mfupi tulipoingia hapa bungeni alikuwa mwasimu wangu wa karibu sana tulikuwa tunagongana miguu vibaya sana lakini kadi muda unavoendelea kusonga uh, ameendelea kuwa rafiki yangu wa karibu na nimemuona nime ni, ni mtu mwenye hekma na busara na ni kiongozi ambaye ana uwezo mkubwa sana wa kuliongoza bunge hili uh, kwenda sehemu ambayo inatakiwa. Na pia nipongeze pia ndugu yangu Thomas Chengo ambaye tulishirikiana na wale uh, wanakamati wengine kuhakikisha kwamba tunaleta ripoti ambayo 
uh, imezingatia vipengele vingi. Uh, mimi sio mtaalamu wa sheria lakini nakumbuka kuna mahali ambapo nilisoma kwamba sisi hatupo kwa sababu ya sheria. Sheria ipo kwa sababu yetu. Na nafikiri uh, kwa pale ambapo kidogo tunaona sheria haijafuatu. Kuna uwezekano kwamba hatukuwa kwa asilimia tunaweza kufata kila kipengele cha sheria ambayo ipo katika standing order. Na kama kutakuwepo na uhitaji basi tutarekebisha mbeleni tutalazimika kurekebisha kipengele hicho. Lakini nataka nipongeze ile timu ambayo ilifa, ilitengeza uh, iliweka kila mtu katika kamati kwamba tulifanya kazi yetu bila upendeleo tulifanya kazi yetu kwa usawa na kwa kuhakikisha kwamba tunaweka watu wenye ujuzi kwa mfano katika kamati ya afya yupo ndugu yangu uh, zero sijui kama yupo katika nyumba ama labda me kwa sababu tunajua uh, ni mtaalamu katika mambo ya afya kwa hiyo tukaona kwamba ni vizuri tumweke pale na pia tukamweka ndugu yetu Hasani katika uh, kamati ya maji kwa sababu amekuwa uh, chairman wa kamati ya maji kwa uh, awamu mbili zilizotangulia. Kwa hiyo tukaona kwamba akiwa pale anaweza kuwa na mchango mzuri. Kwa hiyo tulichukua vipengele vingi kuhakikisha kwamba tunaweka watu wenye tajriba ambayo inaofaa kuhakikisha kwamba tunasukuma kazi ili ambayo tulipewa na wananchi kama ndugu zangu alivyotangulia kusema ni kwamba hatupo katika kamati hizi kwa sababu yetu tupo katika, katika kamati hizi kwa niaba ya hii nyumba na tupo katika kamati hizi kwa niaba ya wale wananchi ambao uh, wametuchagua kuja katika bunge hili kwa hiyo waheshimiwa na waombeni na, na warai kwamba tuipitishe uh, ripoti hii kikamilifu kwa sababu ya ile kazi ambayo iko pale mbele Tukiangalia sasa hivi tunahitaji mikopo ili kwa wale ambao hana magari wa, wapate usafiri na wale ambao labda pia wangetamani kujenga wajenge na pia kujiendeleza katika sehemu zingine. Na kamati hizo ama kazi hiyo kidogo haiwezi kusonga kwa sababu tunahitaji mwana kamati mmoja ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa bajeti awe katika kamati ile ya, ya, ya loss board. Kwa hiyo tuki fast track kazi hii waheshimiwa tutakuwa sisi wenyewe tumejikomboa najua wengi saa hizi kidogo mifuko hali si hali na pia si kwa sababu yetu kama nilivyosema ni kwa sababu hata ile kazi ile ambayo inakuja kule mbele ya kuwakagua uh, chifu officers tunahitaji kamati ziwepo ili kazi ya bunge iendelee kwa hiyo mheshimiwa speaker uh, naunga mkono uh, ripoti hii na pia anawaomba waheshimiwa wengine wayunge mkono pia ili kazi iendelee asante sana wana bruma penzi elina thank you mr speaker for giving me this opportunity to make my submissions towards this motion i stand to support the motion fully i also urge honorable members to support this motion uh, or we approve it as you have seen and through so many explanations that honorable members have uh, explained it wasn't easy task i was privileged to sit in that committee and i found it not to be an easy task eh? especially in ensuring the to the, the gender role has been observed in placing members in all those committees. Committees, it wasn't easy. I know, honorable members, you might have had an uh, interest on how you were to be placed in all those committees, and maybe to some extent the interests have not been fully met. Let it not be a base to delay this report. We need to move on and I call for your support. Before I say it, I would wish to congratulate the lead of majority, actually, my brother, you are a good leader, because we reached a point where some of the members were not placed in the select committees, and uh, Mr. Honorable Leader of Majority was ready to withdraw 
his membership from those committees in favor of those honorable members that were not placed. That was a good uh, move. So congratulations, brother. And also I would wish to congratulate our leader of minority. Actually, you are a good man. You are a good honorable member. I will withdraw that word. <laughs> so uh, congratulations. He also paved way for members to be placed first, and then he looked upon his interests. So that's leadership. Congratulations. Thank you. Honorable Atiambo, Rashid. Asante, Mwana Speaker. Kwa kunipatia inafasi, nimesimama kuunga mkono. Na na wasi kwa unyenyekivu kwa heshima na taadhima viongozi wenzangu tuiunge mkono naomba niweke wazi ya kwamba kama kuna jambo lolote ambayo imeonekana na ikielezewa ndani ya nyumba hii haiamanishi kwamba yule anayelezea anapinga tunapoelezea jambo tunajaribu kuonesha na kuonyesha njia ambayo inaweza kufatwa kwa wakati huu ama wakati unaokuja na sina budi kusema kwamba kazi imefanyika ni kazi nzuri waliokuwa katika jopo la kushulikia hii kazi na kuna kile majina si kazi rahisi na wapa kongole kwa ile kazi ambao wameifanya na nawaombea Mungu wazidi kuwa na hikma hiyo wakiongozwa na kiongozi wa walio wengi na walio wachache Jambo lingine ambalo ningependa kuweka wazi naomba kwa wabunge wenzangu ambao tuko hapa hizi kamati ni kikot kwa lugha ya Kiingereza kuna kitu anaita responsibility allowance hata ukiwa katika kamati tatu nne utapata moja peke yake kwa hivyo kama wewe uko katika kamati moja tuachie na wengine wale ambao hawakupata na wao waweze kupata kwa sababu ikiwa wewe uko katika mahali unapata hiyo responsibility allowance in court alafu ingie mahali pengine uchukue kama mwenyekiti ama naibu utakuwa umekuwa joka la mdimu ndimu hali na mwingine hataki achume kwa hivyo na waomba tusaidiane ili kila mmoja apate ndio tuweze kupendana tuweze kuishi vizuri sina budi kusema na waunga mkono naunga mkono na wa, nitashirikiana na nimefurahi kwa kazi nzuri iliyofanywa japo kuna kipengele cha sheria kidogo lakini hiyo kama sisi tunaweza tukarekebisha muhimu tukaangalia tunasonga vipi asante bwana speaker unapendana thank you very much thank you very good mr speaker sir for giving me this opportunity to give my inputs towards the adoption supporting the lead reports of committee on selection In my view, devolution came to hasten service delivery to the people of this country, Kenya. And my speaker, Mr. Speaker, sir, it is the leadership which fails to realize this core mandate of devolution. And this, Mr. Speaker, sir, was the reason the previous regime failed. Second, Mr. Speaker, sir, why am I alluding this, Mr. Speaker? 
at times we were united in passing things in this house without basing which political party a person or honorable member is affiliated to. But for this serious and noble exercise of committee selection, there is an intervention from Honorable Thor. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the member on the floor is talking about a failed regime. I'm not very sure which regime is talking about. You will clarify, don't worry. My clarity, please. Because I, I served in the, sec in the second uh, assembly, so if you talk about failed regimes, I don't understand, uh, Mr. Speaker. You will clarify. You can take a position as he's clarifying. Honorable Kalama, clarify on the issues. Okay. I think my argument is based on the exercise which took place previously. Please, Honorable Member, let me continue, then you will get what point I'm raising to. I've said, now comes a noble exercise of which committee was selected. In that course, I was asked to give my stance or my affiliation. Mr. Speaker, sir, if this will be the mark of the basis of doing things in this house, will not be exceptional compared to the previous regime. Finally, Mr. Speaker, sir, God has a divine purpose of putting everybody. There is an intervention from my brother Rashid. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. I rise on standing order 77. I quote, no member shall read a speech, but a member may read a short extract. The member on the floor is reading. Please, it's contrary to the standing order 77. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Are you reading your member? No. No, but I refer something in our paper. You, ref you referred. Let me continue, Mr. Speaker, sir. So, uh, are you referring or are you reading? I'm not reading. You are referring? Yeah. J just give your points and uh, conclude because time is my your final, presence. My final thoughts, Mr. Speaker. I was saying, God has given every honorable member a position for his purpose. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, I plea and urge every honorable member to exercise his authority, his mandate in a watchful manner so that It is for the benefit of this house and the entire Cliffy County. In that few remarks, there's a point of order from Honorable Changawa. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Under which order, please? Well, please, Mr. Speaker. You are. Uh, Under which uh, standing order, so that at least we can understand? Mr. Speaker, please. From your guidance, eh? you served from the first regime. You, you, you are one of those who served in this regime. And the member on the floor is abusing those who, are, who served from the last regime. So it will, be, uh, it will not be in order if you are abused and you are here and other members who served from the last regime are here and then we, uh, we just let it go that way. He should substantiate or withdraw. He was referring, he was referring on a piece of paper. That is what he said. Uh, so the, he, said, <laughs> he said the last regime failed. And you are one who said in the last regime. Please, he should withdraw that. He was merely referring. So maybe he was not serious. We are waiting to hear the, his own points because whatever he was, reading, he was referring was on a piece of paper. That's what he said. 
Because I remember I was on a point of order 77, claiming that he was reading. But he said, no, Honorable Speaker, I'm not reading. I was just referring on a piece of paper. So we were listening to his last submission, whether it would both his, because maybe the last submission was his own uh, contributions. So give him, give, give him a, um, at least an, uh, a chance to conclude. Maybe you understand what he meant. That is what he told the Honorable Taura when he raised on the same issue. So uh, inform members about it, whether well, at least you can understand, without referring to the piece of paper. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir, for defending me. My final thoughts on this adoption. For failing. You said my final remarks. You said you are thanking for doing what? <laughs> Defending this, that position. My final remarks is this. I'm not opposing by supporting the reports. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Okay, members have heard your reference. Honorable Tato, please. Asante sana bwana speaker. Kwanza na toa shukrani zangu kwa kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutufikishia hapa siku hii ya leo. Pili na toa pongezi kwa viongozi wetu hususan kiongozi wa wengi na kiongozi wa wachache. Walikuwa ni viongozi wa busara. Pili pia naapa pongezi committee ya selection nikiwa mmoja wao kwa hakika haikuwa kazi rahisi. Lakini tuashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu alitusaidia na tukahakikisha tumetenda usawa kwa kila mheshimiwa. Kwa hiyo naomba waheshimiwa wenzangu tuunge mkono hoja hii na tuzidi kusonga mbele. Asante sana. Honorable Kantono. Asante mheshimiwa speaker kwa nafasi hii kwanza ni mshukuru maulana kwa kuniruzuku uhai siku ya leo mheshimiwa spika eh, niunge mkono ripoti ambayo iletengenezwa na kikosi kazi kikiongozwa na eh, kiongozi wa wengi ndugu yangu labda mheshimiwa Mae, unajua kikosi kazi na kamati ni tofauti katika lugha enzi ya Kiswahili. Mheshimiwa speaker kule mimi nikiwa mmoja wa kile kikosi tulikuwa ni lugha yetu tunaitana kule. Kwa Lakini kazi ambacho nafikiri ingekuwa vyema kwa sababu ni kamati ambayo ilidhinishwa na bunge. Itakuwa ni makosa ukigeuza kwamba imetoka kwa kamati kuwa ilikuwa kikosi kazi tu. Unaweza kuwa nadhalilisha ile kamati kwa hivyo ni vizuri kuipatia ile hadhi yake kama inavyohitajika kibunge. Mheshimiwa speaker eh, ni fanye marekebisho kwamba na napongezi na eh, kamati ile iliyokuwa ikisimamia maswala haya ya ya kupanga waheshimiwa katika kamati tofauti tofauti. Mheshimiwa speaker tuki ama tunavyojua kwamba kwa wakati huu mbali na swala la bala njaa mheshimiwa speaker majumbani mwetu muna vilio vya karo za shule mheshimiwa speaker watoto wengi kufikia sasa sisi ambao e, tulikuwa na na akiba akiba zetu zile za kibinafsi pia kufikia sasa tumezitumia kuhakikisha ama kusaidia wawili watatu kwa hivyo mheshimiwa speaker kamati ile ambayo inaenda kusimamia maswala ya karo nimeona hapa mheshimiwa Ngirani mheshimiwa Odhiambo mheshimiwa Moses Kalama Mkadi Koki Sidi Mumba Chengo, Mwambire Kadengi, Changawa na Rozi Baraka. Mheshimiwa Speaker, hii ni moja ya kamati ambazo sisi tunazitegemea 
ziingie kazini haraka sana kwa sababu e, wazazi pamoja na watoto wamengojea huduma hii na sasa tunavyojua wengine wako majumbani na mwaka unaenda kuisha na Januari tayari ni mwaka wa kwanza ambapo wanaojiunga na vidato vya kwanza wanatarajia kwamba e, kaunti yetu iwe imeshajipanga kwa hivyo mheshimiwa speaker hatuna muda ndiposa sisi tukiongozwa na viongozi wetu e, tukachagua hawa wanachama tukiamini kwamba wanatajiriba kubwa Tuki, tukijua kama mheshimiwa mheshimiwa Rashid Odhiambo ambaye yeye e, anafanya biashara kubwa katika sekta hii ya elimu kwamba hapa ataenda kuwa msaada mkubwa sana katika kaunti yetu ya Kilifi Mheshimiwa speaker ukiangalia eh, kamati ya ya kilimo eh, uvuvi na wanyama Mheshimiwa speaker jina la kwanza ambalo limejitokeza pale ni mheshimiwa wa kutoka cha Simba Mheshimiwa Kazungu Mbura huyu ni mkulima mzuri sana kule cha Simba wa Minazi Mheshimiwa speaker na yeye binafsi siku hiyo alitu eh, tangu tujuane amekuwa akona ari kubwa sana ya 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 amekuwa akona ari kubwa sana mheshimiwa speaker ya sekta hii ya kilimo na tunajua weledi ule alionao mheshimiwa speaker kwa sababu hili swala la bala la bala njaa mheshimiwa speaker bala njaa hatula talimaliza tu kwa kupeleka vyakula yale maeneo ambayo ameathirika Mheshimiwa speaker baa hili la njaa tutalimaliza endapo tutakuwa na e, miundo misingi mizuri ya ukulima ikiwemo viongozi ndugu zetu wa yale maeneo ambayo yamekumbwa sana e, hususan viongozi wetu wa ganze kwamba mbali na na, na... Kuna, there was an intervention from Grace Mwange Asante bwana speaker. Ningeomba mheshimiwa mwenye yuko kwa sakafu hiyo ya kupendekeza waheshimiwa awachie kamati husika. Asante. Mimi ni mmoja wa ile kamati iliyokaa pale na nikizungumzia mheshimiwa eh, Kazungu Mbura nimefanya naye kazi bunge la kwanza eh, bunge la pili na namjua kwamba anatajiriba kubwa ya ukulima. Kwa hivyo wakati tukifanya uteuzi huu wale baadhi ambao tuliwajua zile tajiriba zao kubwa ndio maana tuliweza kuzingatia. Kwa hivyo mheshimiwa speaker nikasema kwamba e, ukulima ndio utaweza kumaliza shida zetu nyingi za njaa. Na ukulima si ukulima pekee mheshimiwa e, wa, 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 wa vyakula. Hapana waheshimiwa wenzangu wa zile sehemu ambazo zimekumbwa zime na, na kiangazi tafadhali e, ningeomba e, kamati hii inapopanga ile mikakati ikiwemo mikakati ya upanzi wa miti nyinyi muweze kuipokea kwa mikono miwili mikakati hii kwa sababu e, kupitia miti ndio tutaweza kuvutia E, manyunyu ya mvua kunyesha sehemu zile na katika hali vile inavyoendelea mheshimiwa speaker zile sehemu e, kuna uhitaji mkubwa sana bali na e, mahindi ama vyakula tunavyopanda pia miti kule ikaweze kupandwa kwa hivyo kamati hii e, maswala hayo nafikiri ita, ita, itaenda kuyazingatia sana mheshimiwa speaker mheshimiwa speaker katika swala la la afya e, mheshimiwa mwenzangu sikumbuki ni nani lakini amemtaja e, ndugu zero ambayo tunamjua yeye ana ana, ana tajriba ya masuala haya ya afya na kama zile ahadi kuu ambazo mheshimiwa gavana ameweza kuziweka pale e, katika afya tukasema ni bora mmoja wa wale ambao wamefanya kazi ndani ya kilifi 
ndani ya hospitali yetu ameona zile dhiki ambazo wazazi wetu wanapitia katika zile hospitali yeye akiwa muuguzi pale bila vifaa vinavyotakikana bila madawa yanayotakikana kutibu yeye anajua ile dhiki na uchungu ambao ndugu zetu wanapitia kila siku pale tukasema yeye akiwa hapa ataweza kuendeza ile ama kueneza ile ajenda ya mheshimiwa gavana kwamba eh, afya lazima tuweze kuibadilisha mheshimiwa speaker mheshimiwa speaker nikimalizia ni waambie waheshimiwa wenzangu sisi tumechaguliwa na wakazi wa kilifi na kuchaguliwa huku ni jukumu tumepewa lakini vile vile jukumu hili lina mawe mengi sana tutapigwa lina mishale mingi sana tutapigwa kwa hivyo mimi ni waombe na hii ni safari ambayo tumeianza na safari hii itakapofika 2027 ikiwa yale mambo ambayo mheshimiwa gavana ameahidi na sisi kule mashinani tumeahidi kama yatakuwa hayakufanikiwa basi ni sote tutakuwa hatukufanikiwa kwa hivyo zile kelele zile ambazo zinapigwa na wapinzani zengine ni za maana tutazinukuu lakini zile ambazo si za maana tuziweke kando na nikiongezea nguvu masuala neno hilo ni wakumbushe tu e, e, maneno yaliyosemwa na waziri mkuu wa zamani wa Uingereza Sir Winston Churchill akasema ukiwa kwenye safari alafu uwe mwenye kusimama kurusha jiwe kwa kila mbwa anayebweka basi huenda safari ile wewe hautafika kwa hivyo wacha wale mbwa wanaorusha wanaobweka wabweke sisi jukumu letu tukaze mwendo tumalize hii safari anapofanikiwa gavana sisi pia tumefanikiwa kule mashinani kwa hayo mengi na machache asalamu alaikum Abu Juma Chango <coughs> ah, nashukuru bwana speaker kwa kunipatia nafasi hii ya kuweza kusema jambo Uh, kwanza nashukuru Mungu mepata siku nyingine ya leo kuiona vile vile nashukuru afisi yako kuweza kunitoa kuweza kusimamia ule upande wa wale wenzetu independent kwa hivyo pia nashukuru wenzangu uh, wale uh, kwa kunipatia ile nafasi mkijua kwamba tutaweza kushirikiana na wale wenzangu wengine wale wengi na wale wachache tuweze kufanya shughuli nzima hii ambayo ilikuwa nafikiri anayezungumza unaweza kaa tu na kitu mashuhuri anazungumza kwamba ofisi yako ilimteua sijui labda atafafanua sisi tunasikiza sote ah sante ah labda Kiswahili kidogo lakini mwenzangu pande yule bwana speaker nilikuwa naamanisha mimi nilikuwa mmoja wao wale independent na nikapata nafasi kwenye kamati hiyo ambayo tumejaribu kuweka vichwa pamoja na tukaweza kuona kila mmoja atakuwa pale yule akuwa pale hatimaye tumefika siku ya leo ndio nilikuwa nazungumza hiyo uh, kwa hivyo mimi nimeshukuru sana na asilimia mia moja mimi ni naiunga mkono hii kwa sababu hapa duniani hapa Kenya na duniani nzima Hakuna sheria zitakayokuwa asilimia mia moja sawa. Hakuna kabisa hata tukizunguka nafika Asante mheshimiwa speaker. Nafikiri mwenye anaongea, mheshimiwa anaongea, anasema hapa Kenya na duniani. Kwa hiyo isn't Kenya si sehemu moja ya dunia. Mwenye anatuambia. Uh, uh, nafikiri utabidi muangalie vizuri lugha sanifu ya Kiswahili. Anaweza kuwa mmaanisha jema lakini yenye kwa sababu mmemfikiria kitofauti. Ndio uh -huh. lakini mpateni nafasi aweze kujieleza vizuri. Uh, uh, na, asante speaker. Nafikiri uh, bwana speaker 
ni vizuri waheshimiwa uh, tusiongee kwa sababu tutataka kuongea uh, lakini tuongee tukiamanisha vitu vile vinafahamika uzuri ni ninachotaka kusema na urudia tena ni kwamba hata tukizunguka hapa Kenya na huduma wangu mzima kwa ujumla hatutapata sheria ambazo zitakuwa ziko na ukamilifu asilimia moja ndio nilikuwa naomba wasio wenzangu unamaanisha kwamba mkiwa katika kamati hamkufuatilia sheria kwa sababu sheria haziko kamilifu ama na maanishaje kwa urahisi ile tulifuatilia vile vipengee vote vya kisheria zile sheria za Kenya na zile za hapa bunge kila kitu sheria zote tulikamilisha lakini hakuna sheria mheshimiwa spika ambazo zitakuwa kila mmoja zitaona kwamba yeye atakuwa ameridhika nazo na maanisha hivyo kwa hivyo naomba turidhikeni tu waheshimiwa alafu tuweze kuangalia yale ambayo yako mbele yetu kama vile vimezungumza na wenzetu uh, zile kamati zote husika tuanze kazi mara moja ni kirudi nyuma kidogo uh, ile kamati ya kuangalia masuala ya majanga naomba iwe makini pale nyumani ule upande wa kwetu uh, mnarani wote unga na vile vifambo vilikuwa vinatolewa kwa sababu ya kusaidia mambo ya janga ya covid 19 mheshimiwa unga ulifichwa kwenye manyumba za watu wakauza elfu moja moja kwa hivyo si kazi ya uh, yule CS pekee yake lakini sisi waheshimiwa pia tuwe macho ili tuone tuna tunalinda wanawake. Asante bwana speaker. Nafikiri bwana speaker katika bunge hili wakati ukitoa neno ni lazima pia ulifikirie ni neno gani unalitoa. Mnenaji amesema kwamba kuna unga ulikuwa unauzwa paka elfu moja elfu moja ulikuwa umefichwa. Mimi bwana speaker langu ningetaka tu kumuuliza mnenaji ambie bunge hili unga ulifichwa na nani na hiyo elfu moja ni nani alikuwa ananunua unga kama huo ili tutambue bwana speaker kwa sababu bwana speaker maneno aliyozungumza ni maneno magumu pengine ni kati ya wale mawaziri ambao tumewatajua tumewachagua ndio alificha unga ule ili na sisi tujue bwana speaker asante wale ambao wametuhumiwa kuficha unga uh, si mawaziri lakini ni baadhi ya makateli sasa ndio nilikuwa ninasema tuwe macho wako hata tulijaribu kufuatilia hiyo mambo lakini haikufanyika na ni mambo ambayo sote nafikiri tunaofahamu nayo kwa hivyo pia nilikuwa ninasema tuwe macho jameni si tuwe tusiwaachie tayari mawaziri lakini sisi tuwe macho tuchunge yale mambo yanaenda kule mashinani tukiwa tuhakikishe yanalenga wale walengo mwisho kabisa uh, nimesimama hapa kuwaona kwamba afi uh, Uh, department ya habari hapa hapa katika bunge labda baadaye ninaenda nje kidogo ituelezee labda hatuoni vombo vingi vya kutuweza kutunasa sawa sawa hata mheshimiwa aliyetangulia uh, kuzungumza mheshimiwa Mwai alikuwa ninamuona kishogo tu hizo na upande mwingine ili asante Th th thank you Mr. Speaker and uh, I rise on standing order 88 where a member shall take responsibility of any statement or fact that he, has, he puts before this house and as the majority leader has alleged also or has sought clarity on for this house to allow a member to state that there are such allegations whereby he cannot substantiate Mr. Speaker. I think it is a serious matter that needs your ruling on so that in the future we shall not have a precedence whereby members can stand and allege on matters that they cannot substantiate. Because that is a grave, 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 grave matter, Mr. Speaker, where matters of that nature cannot go unheard without any substantiation, Mr. Speaker. So I seek your ruling on that matter. Okay, let's give him a benefit of doubt to clarify the allegations. Uh, Honorable Chango said there are some people, there are some cartels. Can you please clarify so that the House can understand exactly what you meant? Because it just uh, see, yeah. it appears as if you are brushing it off. Okay, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, nafikiri tukifanya uchunguzi utafiti tunaweza kupata. Manake ni miongea. Mimi ni lajua na fungea. So, You, na, you want the assembly maybe to form a special an ad hoc committee to investigate on uh, that matter. Uh, mimi niko tayari nitawapatia information. 
alafu mtafuatilia manake mheshimiwa nafikiri unge, unge makinika kidogo kwa matamshi unayotoa badala kuchukua kana kwamba tumekuja kucheza ili ni bunge na ni vizuri kama pengine unaona huna ufahamu vizuri unaweza kutoa hayo matamshi yako naombe msamaha tuendelee na shughuli nyingine badala ya kwamba utuzunguse sana okay haya alikuwa anaongea nilikuwa naamanisha lakini kwa sababu hiyo basi wacha nitoe <laughs> Unatoa matamshi yako. Eh nimetoa. Na unaomba msamaha bunge. Haya samahani lakini Asante. Eh remember as you know Honorable uh, Chango is a, a journalist by profession. So sometimes he can pretend to be funny. But it is good. Remember as allow me to put the question that person to the province. Sorry, but before I go to that, uh, let me allow the mover to respond to the motion so that I can put the question, please. Rabu Ibrahim, make your request, please. Asante, Bwana Speaker. Kwa kunipatia nafasi hii na ninataka kuwapongeza kila aliyeunga mswada huu. Mheshimiwa tumefanya kazi kama mwenyekiti wa kamati hii ambao tumeleta mswada huu leo hapa tulifanya kazi ya ziada na ninataka kuwashukuru members wangu pia vile vile nataka kuwashukuru waheshimiwa wote ambaye wameunga mkono kitu ambacho tu nataka kuambia waheshimiwa ni kwamba tulitimiza vipengele vote vya sheria na pia vile vile waheshimiwa kulikuwa hakuna ubaguzi wala dhuluma katika utendakazi ule wa kuchagua watu kwenye ile kamati kwa kamati zile kitu muhimu bwana speaker ni jukumu la kila mheshimiwa kuwajibika kwa ile kamati ambayo amewekwa tuacheni tofauti zetu tusongeni mbele tushirikiane ili kilifi iboreke ili zile nafasi ambayo umepata uwajibike nayo bwana speaker mimi nataka tu niwakumbushe waheshimiwa ya kwamba kuwa kwenye kamati si mwanzo wala si mwisho. Katika kamati hiyo hapo ulipo unaweza kutolewa kulingana na nidhamu yako ama na utendakazi wako. Kwa sababu bwana speaker nataka kuwakumbusha kwamba nilipokuwa katika bunge hili mimi nilikuwa kwenye kamati tofauti tofauti. Na speaker ambaye sasa ni speaker sahi alikuwa ni naibu wa speaker wakati huo. E, leader of majority kiongozi wa wengi alikuwa ni mheshimiwa Mwingo. Bwana speaker nilikosa nidhamu kwenye kamati na nikatolewa kwa miaka mitatu na nusu katika bunge hili bwana speaker sikuwa kwenye kamati yote mpaka nikatoka katika bunge hili. Na leo hii mimi ni kiongozi wa wengi katika bunge hili bwana speaker. <laughs> bwana speaker ninataka tu kuambia members kwa sababu Members ni lazima tuheshimiane. Mahali umewekwa si mahali ya kwamba useme kwamba mimi nimewekwa mahali pa. Hakuna kamati mbaya bwana speaker. Kamati zote ziko sawa inatukua tu ile bidi yako pale mahali umewekwa. Kitu muhimu pia sasa hii nitakaa na kiongozi wa wachache katika bunge hili na speaker ili pia na sisi tuziangalie utendakazi wa kamati zile. Kwa hiyo bwana speaker nataka kuambia waheshimiwa ya kwamba tutakuwa macho kuangalia utendakazi wenu pia tutatilia maanani nidhamu yenu na matamshi yenu katika bunge hili asante bwana speaker na Mungu aibariki bunge hili mama zao ni to put the question that was on to the provisions of standing order on 63 This honorable house approves the first report of the committee on selection on the nomination of members into select statutory and sectoral committees as laid on the table of the house on Monday at first October 2020. As many as of that opinion say aye. aye. As many of that opinion say nay. The ayes are it. Members, there have been no other business to transact at the moment. The House adjourns until next week, Monday afternoon, when we'll be coming back for the short recess. Thank you very much.